Two quarterbacks in the Utah-Oklahoma State game have a combined age of 49 years old. The two coaches have been at their respective schools 20 years each. Very interesting matchup here in the Big 12 Conference, and there is some value with one of these teams. I'm going to let you know who to play and how to make some money. Utah-Oklahoma State coming up free for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and I'm breaking down your 4 o'clock Eastern Saturday afternoon game on Fox National TV, Big 12 action, Utah Utes at the Oklahoma State Cowboys. A battle of top 15 teams, by the way. Number 12, Utah at number 14, Oklahoma State. So this game will be in my top 25 video, along with three other big games for this weekend as well. So check that out here on Wager Talk TV. Be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell for an instant alert. Let's look at my 10,000 game simulation through the database. I run every game 10,000 times through the database, different factors, uh, situational analysis, and on average, I've got Oklahoma State winning this game by almost five points. So once again, Oklahoma State on average wins by five points. So there is line value with the Oklahoma State Cowboys. And the look-ahead line last week, midweek, was going to be Utah's a one-and-a-half-point road favorite. And then most books opened Oklahoma State around a one-and-a-half to two-point home favorite this weekend. And it's holding steady. As I check the Wager Talk Live odd screen, Oklahoma State currently about a two-and-a-half-point favorite. It does look like some threes might start to show. But this line also might come down because Cam Rising is expected to return at quarterback for Utah. He's their star quarterback, his seventh season, I believe. And I mentioned how these two quarterbacks combined age is 49 years. Uh, they both have been around for a while. Not sure Rising is fully healthy, though. And if he does return, I don't think he's going to be 100%. Um, I do think the line is somewhat pricing his return here. Um, and once again, we do get some value because of that, as I favor Oklahoma State by almost five points in this game. So two and a half or less, I like the Oklahoma State Cowboys, and we will keep an eye on the quarterback situation uh, for Utah. Backup Wilson's been very mediocre this year. Four touchdowns, three picks. Rising, meanwhile, seven touchdowns, no interceptions, although he's missed the last game and a half, of course. This is also a huge step up for the Utah defense uh, facing this Oklahoma State pass offense. You know, Mike Gundy, I'm a man! Mike Gundy, 20th year at uh, Oklahoma State. Whittingham's 20th year at Utah, by the way, as I mentioned. They have 40 years combined at these two respective schools. But Gundy's team is the most experienced team in the country, in fact, on offense and defense combined. Coming in, they ranked third most returning production of any team in the country. But they were top 10 on both offense and defensive production returning. I think they're the only team in the country that met that metric. And I do look for a strong season this year in Stillwater. And this is a big focus spot for him in a basic straight-up win situation. Um, Oklahoma State is throwing the ball extremely well this year. They're not much of a running team, but they can haul it 431 yards through the air last week against Tulsa. And I think that'll be the difference in this game. Uh, Utah was not tested against Southern Utah or Baylor. Uh, Utah State actually threw for 245 passing yards last week. Uh, their first true road game for Utah. So I think the Cowboys can definitely get to three, 350 plus passing yards, and this will be a win for them at home. Once again, the line value plays Oklahoma State. We'll keep it on the Cam Rising situation, as that could dictate if this crosses over that key number of three or not. But currently, I think the value is with the Cowboys as a small home favorite. Let me know your thoughts. I read all the comments. I reply back. Comment below your thoughts on this game and other games you like this Saturday in college football. Thumbs up, like the video is always appreciated. And make sure when you subscribe, you click that bell as well. So you know when my top 25 college video, my NFL Fade the Public videos are both posted this weekend, along with these daily free play football and baseball videos. Hey, speaking of baseball, I know we're talking football, but don't sleep on baseball on a current 29-9 and best bet run in baseball. And that includes back-to-back -back extra inning losses. Whew. Can you imagine extra inning losses back-to-back -back nights and we're still 29-9? and That's how strong the baseball season has been. Ranked number one overall profit this year in all of baseball. Ranked number one in profit the last two seasons combined in college and pro football ATS profits combined. Number one in the NBA all-time at Wager Talk. Number one in college hoops a couple years ago. Basketball starts in about a month. So yeah, not a bad time to maybe get an all-sports all-access. Now, if you already have football and just want the rest of my number one ranked baseball through the World Series, get an instant $50 discount with promo code MLB50. MLB50. If you want the rest of the football season, if you're not on board, I know most of you are, but if you're not, you can get an instant $100 discount on the discounted football price for the rest of the year. F-Ball 100. F-Ball 100. Or the best option, the true investment approach, is an all-sports, all-access, direct subscription. I never mentioned this in the videos, but if you already have one of my football or baseball packages and you want to upgrade to like an all-sports, all-access, just message customer support. They're the best in the business. They will give you a special credit for what you have remaining. Um, but either way, if you're not on board already, the all-sports, all-access is the way to go. And I've made it very appealing and very enticing with an instant $800 discount 
off the normal rate with promo code SM365. Here's how it works. You go to my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. On the right-hand side, you see the All Sports All Access, the one month, the three month, the one year. At checkout with the one year, put it in your cart. At checkout, use promo code SM365. You get an instant $800 discount. That works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar per play for every football, baseball, and basketball, basketball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. It's that simple. That is how you make money, is playing it consistently and taking a serious investment approach. And the price has never been better, just a dollar a play with promo code SM365. Last weekend, 3-1 and one in college football, 2-1 and one on Sunday in the NFL, 5-2 and two combined in football last week. And I've got an even stronger card this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. If you want those daily best bets, they're available right now as well on a daily basis. You get a one-day all-access pass for just 39 if you want to try it out on Saturday or Sunday. And when you're ready to take a serious investment approach, once again, consider one of those promo codes to save instantly at checkout on baseball, football, or all sports. You don't have to memorize them. Go to my page right now. They're on my homepage every day. Right below the daily best bets, right below the daily free play. That's right. I post a free play, a bonus free play every day on my page for you. Right below that are the promo codes and special offers as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free sports betting content coming up next.